All right, table two shows you wood processor, which Malika currently uses. All right, she has, she has a table there. Rec table has customer name, contact number, type of cake, due date, part payment, deliver pickup. Yeah. Recommend a more suitable productivity tool which Malika could use to keep track of cake orders. Give two reasons here. Well, Malika can use a database. Reason number one. Um, the good things about database is queries. He can do a query to find particular information, particular customers by name. And two, she can create a report uh, of deliveries she has to make. Yes, that is very good for you, Malika. Very good, very good, very good. Malika was unable to use the information collected in Table 2 to complete the orders. Explain which headings in Table 2 would have called the information to be unreliable. Unreliable deliver or pickup looks very unreliable. Because if it's deliver, it should just say deliver or pickup. What is yes? Yeah, yes is a problem. So we will say deliver or pickup. Because one of the records had yes in it. And that would have confused whether it was a delivery or a pickup. And um, anything else? Let's see what else is weird. Part payment is okay, that's a number. Due date is one type of okay. Oh, customer name is a problem too. You know why? Because we have two ratios. That would be a problem. So you could give, you could get a customer name. That'll be alt alternative answer because you have two Rachels. How dare you have two Rachels? That's amazing. Okay, Lana, right, and I'll see you put that in chat there. Thanks, appreciate it. Um, describe two apps in cross-platform messaging that Malika could use to communicate with others to advertise the bacon business. Cross-platform messaging. Wow. Okay, WhatsApp can send messages to anyone who has the app installed and linked to to their phone number. And then let's 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 go wild and put Discord because she can post multiple servers and send direct messages users. I mean, you could go real wild. It could be WhatsApp. It could say Telegram. It could say Signal. Even iMessage will be cross. iMessage not cross cross platform, but um, WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal. You could say IG because you could DM people there. You could say Snapchat. Anywhere that you can send a message to somebody and they can install the app on any device that they want, it should be okay. No issues. Once you give an explanation, because it's for Mac, so you had to be able to give an explanation of how the app works. So put something that's cool. The only reason I put Discord is because WhatsApp and Telegram, Signalite, all of them are basically the same thing. Malika is keen on purchasing a device for her business. Identify one advantage and one disadvantage of using a device from each of the following operating systems. Android, um is open source so there may be bugs in the software that pose a security risk and mac os or they say one advantage one disadvantage so we'll call that the disadvantage the advantage is um android has a wide array of apps available because it's open source mac os disadvantage this is proprietary and can cost a high amount of money. Advantage will be has higher stability because it is closed source and is tested more. Yeah, I think I think that's what they're looking for. They're looking for open source versus proprietary in a, in a nice cheeky way. Which is cool, which is cool. I could I could live with that. Number four, Professor Thomas. You know, the reason I don't like IT unit two is because it's so much writing. It really is a lot of writing. I don't like it. Professor Thomas uses virtual reality and presentation software to deliver a lesson on volcano. His students report that they are enjoying the experience more from his classes. Huh? 
did two benefits and one challenge of using each of the following methods to provide a different experience for the student. He wants to use virtual reality and presentation software to deliver a lesson on volcano so students report that they are enjoying the experience more from his classes. Okay, state the benefits and one challenge of using each of the following methods to provide experience. Okay, the benefits of virtual reality. More words. Students get an immersive attire writing already. Immersive is Im I M M E R S. Is it I or is it immersive or after really cool? It's immersive with an I. Yes, I M M. Right, an immersive experience that makes them feel there. That's benefit number one. Benefit number two is after the immersive experience. Your next benefit is probably going to be the will see it in three dimension in 3d giving them a more accurate view of the dimension i don't know something so um this is a make sense question so if your answer makes sense they'll give me a mark the challenge is well the challenge with virtual reality is people get sick they may get motion sickness or you could say the battery will die fast or you could say that um it's expensive no those are expensive battery dies because those things only last like two hours yeah but motion sickness is usually the biggest problem with virtual reality presentation software benefits wow <laughs> they could have color no presentation software will be all better if you have video yes may have video and um video that shows different types of volcanoes i guess yeah video right one two presentation software allows you to have pictures what the no audio 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 that depicts the sound of a volcano yeah the challenge with our presentation will be it's only in two dimension and can be boring. Why not work hard for that six marks there, boy? Boring slash less immersive. Yeah. All right. Taking that. Part B, students are given an assignment to research a volcano in the region. Identify three sources of information that will be useful for this assignment. You probably want to look at books, journals, and websites. Books will have information about the volcanoes called volcanoes, generally old. And because they're so old, they probably have somebody who wrote a book on it. Probably. Maybe. Journals. Mm, yeah, journals, scientific journals. Of course, scientific. Because somebody probably researched a volcano sometime. Yeah. Stay two suitable formats a student could use to display or present the assignment to the class. Huh? What do you actually do? Given an assignment to research, a research paper, and a video. Well, they said format. So format would be research paper, aka written. Written is correct here. Explain two criteria the professor would use to confirm whether the sources are this. I could see students messing up um, this paper because it's so straightforward. But it has some tricky things inside of it, so um, I I think images could go here too. However, they're given an assignment to research a volcano, so the images will have to have some sort of text attached to it. Or if it's video and images, yeah, images slash slides. This one is a kind of a kind of tight answer because imagine I research volcanoes and I just bring a set of pictures to you. Of course, you'll have to put the pictures and you have to put words with it. Just like with the video, you'll have to put, you know, audio and narrate it. But the video will have to have audio. I'll put video and audio. I could see them having a mark scheme. And the, the mark scheme would be have specific things. And then they will give the students answers wrong for things that make, lo make logical sense. Because you will answer this paper and be like, okay, well, that makes sense to write because it's totally logical. And then these criminals will look at the mark scheme and be like, no. That's not what the mask scheme says, so therefore this child is wrong. And that's a, that's a problem that we usually have with IT Unit 2 because there's a lot of flexibility in your answer. Now. Explain two criteria the professor would use to confirm whether the sources on the student's reports are reliable. Now, here's why. So here's why the strongest answer is a written report because you'll have sources. Um, yeah. We could choose level 
of scholarship. Yes, the sources should be from people who have high qualifications, example, PhDs in geology. Yeah. And they'll probably want to check um, timeliness. The sources, currency, currency, the sources should be up to date with the latest finding. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. And we continue.